Okay, so next on the list is vitamin D3. It is one of the five um, supplements that I felt like we should be taking in order to create the healthy cells. Healthy cells is one of the seven steps that I have come up with for what we can do to prepare our bodies now for what is to come. So vitamin D3, here's some things about it. It's, it's, it's absolutely critical for good health. And most of us are deficient in this as well, just like it, we were with magnesium, we're deficient in vitamin D3 as well. Nearly 3,000 genes that are influenced, um, are influenced by vitamin D levels. Um, it helps with having healthier and improved mental function. It cuts the flu by nearly 50%. So there is a study that was done by the Winthrop University Hospital in New York. Um, and they found that giving supplements of vitamin D to a group of volunteers reduced episodes of infection with colds and flu by 70% over a three year period of time. The researchers said that the vitamin stimulated innate immunity to viruses and bacteria. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. I think more and more we're hearing about the importance of vitamin D3, but do we realize just how incredible it is? 70%? That's more effective than any vaccine out there for, um, for flus. Okay, and if it's protecting us from flus, what else is it protecting us from? It's not like it's, it's only good for flus and colds. It's good for any viral infection. It's good for any pathogenic infection that's coming our way. So listen to these, they're so cool. Uh, it decreases the risk of death due to the flu. Um, a meta-analysis a meta found significantly reduced deaths for all causes, all causes of any infection. Uh, critical, it's critical for disease prevention. It helps repair DNA. It fights infections like tuberculosis, pneumonia, colds, flus, etc. And it helps the body to detoxify. Didn't magnesium do that as well? How important is that in today's world? Um, we are being exposed to pollutants and pesticides and heavy metals and even radiation on a daily basis. How important is it for us to be able to be taking certain um, supplements into our body, supplements that aren't really readily available in our foods anymore? We can't even eat enough of these foods. I mean, not that we're getting vitamin D3 from food. I'm, I'm talking more about magnesium such, but, but so many of these foods that we're eating, we can't even eat enough of them. Our stomach can't even fit enough of them in order for us to get what we're needing from them. Um, okay. Vitamin D3 also helps to optimize overall health, which is a given after everything that we've just read. So um, the type of vitamin D3 that I like to take, just based off of doctors who I've gone back and asked what kind of vitamin D3 would you take, and, and reading Dr. Mercola's articles on vitamin D3 and other doctors' articles, is a liquid vitamin D3. Um, this is Garden of Life brand. We really like this one. It doesn't go too far, though. We have a different one um, by um, a Cal brand, K-A-L. But there are other um, good and reputable vitamin D3 supplements out there in liquid form. They're usually in an oil base, so it's not like it's in water. And you either drop it under your tongue or you spray it on your tongue. Um, I was told by the Lord that if we were taking the oil type to put it underneath our tongue and leave it there for two minutes. So every morning when my kids come down before we eat breakfast, I just either spray or drop the vitamin D3 on their tongue area. So how much do we take? Well. Um, Dr. Mercola and a handful of other doctors um, suggest that uh, for pregnant women they take at least 5,000 units of vitamin D3. For adults it's 5,000 units per day. This is just per day, it's just one dose. You put it in your mouth once and you go on. Uh, age 5 to 10 is 2,500 units and below 5 is 35 units per pound per day. So you can do the math on that one. Um, it's interesting because usually that would seem really high to just, to, I don't know, to many people out there. Um, but I researched it a bit because you can overdose on vitamin D3. It can have negative side effects if you take too much of it. But interestingly enough, they, um, in studies that have been done, they've noticed that bad side effects take effect when a person has taken 50,000 units of vitamin D3 per day for over a month. That's when they've noticed, oh goodness, this is a bit too much. They're starting to have bad side effects. And the way to counteract that is to simply stop taking it or take less. So um, it really is quite safe. 
um, considering that information and especially considering what it is doing for our bodies and what kind of a protection that is to us. It's absolutely amazing and absolutely essential for us and our bodies in our day to day. Um, it isn't too expensive, especially if you buy like the Cal brand that I was talking about. Three drops make up um, 2,000 IU of the vitamin D3. So for say my six-year-old, I just give her, I just give her three, I give her four drops a day, and it that bottle goes a long way. And it's only twenty dollars for the bottle, and it and it lasts for our family for about a month to a month and a half, which is, which is really good. Um, so that is my information about vitamin D3. And now we are going to go on to talk about nascent iodine.